Okay, hello, hey, ho, yo. Very quick message. This should be incredibly short and quick. So, Class of Heroes 2. Um, it's been a while since we pulled anything. Uh, now is time. Okay, uh, I will provide links in the description below for uh, anyone interested in the physical copy of Class of Heroes 2. Pre-order sales are now. All the way till the 8th. That's pretty much... Barely a lot of time, to be honest. So, they're not doing a very wide span of time. So, you gotta get them while you can. Uh, like I said, all links provided below. Uh, two things to note, though, in case you're unaware of. First thing, uh, as mentioned the last time it brought up, uh, a copyright issue came up about the opening song... For the uh, game, they did an English cover of the Japanese song, and for some reason that came up as a problem. The song is being removed from the game, so currently it won't have one. Now, the digital version is going to be coming out soon, and it won't have an opening either. Now, so here's the thing. The digital version will eventually get a opening through an update. It's not guaranteed that it will have the original song, though. It might have a different song. Now, here's, here's the thing. The physical version will not have the opening song. It won't have it. And obviously, there's no way to put it in there once they get all this done. So, if you're buying a physical version, you're forsaking the opening. And now, um, that might change, maybe if something suddenly changes, uh, because uh, if, they do, if it changes before they start making the copies, maybe something will happen, but basically, getting the physical version, there is no guarantee that there will be an opening song to it. Everything else is intact. It has an ending, it has the entire story, the gameplay, the concept, the everything. Just not the flashy anime opening. That you could probably just look up on YouTube. So, understandably, that might be a nitpick for some people. But, obviously, for anyone who is interested, you need to know that's fair. Uh, the second thing is, um, there are two covers if you kept track of the polls and the voting and stuff for the cover. There's a Kickstarter one, and there's the one available to anyone. If you were part of the Kickstarter uh, limited edition thing they tried to do last year, you got a special email towards a link that allows you to get the Kickstarter version that only you or other Kickstarter people can use because they're going by your email for your Kickstarter. So you can't just give it out and it's like, hey, Fred, you want the Kickstarter version? Here's the link. Because they'll find, well, his email ain't there, so... And they always stated that if somebody tries to do that, you'll just get the regular, the regular version if you don't match up through the database there. So, basically, trying is pointless, really. So, unless you have a friend who was part of the Kickstarter, your only choice is the regular version. But, uh, like I said, links will be below. And uh, I would suggest going to the homepage for additional information. You can also go to, uh, I'll provide his Twitter uh, if you want to ask him anything before you purchase. And uh, last thing, uh, it was always asked for people who wanted to buy multiple copies for some reason. You have to buy them individually at a time. So you have to buy one, take it, pay for it, then do it again. And then again, for every version you want. And uh, Kickstarter people can get both versions because there's two separate links for them. So whichever one you prefer, you can get either or both. Varies on how many copies you want to get if you're just getting one, two, you know. Depends on that. Anyway, hopefully this was a very quick message. I hope that got all the information you need to know about now. And hopefully there will be more information for you in the links below. Anyway, have a good day. And see you all. Ta-ta for now!